Hello everyone, and welcome back to Omnicraft. I'm Mr. Zurius, and we're back in Omniville today because I've been working on some more stuff. We're going to be looking at this small greenhouse here. It's green in colour, but not like an actual greenhouse made of glass. You know what I mean. So if we walk on inside, we'll see we've got a nice big furnace here with some smokers. Probably pretty obvious what's going to be going on here, but we're going to have a butchery. I'm looking to see if I can find some nice blocks that would be fitting to decorate this place more in line with a butcher. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we've got the base groundwork done and we'll work on the proper decoration later. So onto this building here. I absolutely love the colour scheme and the way it's came together. You can see there's still quite a bit of work done. But the purpose of this building is that it's going to be our first residential building. So this place is going to be nice and cosy, it's going to be full of beds for villagers to sleep in. And this is where a majority of them will live. At least until I run out of space in it and then we have to build another one. So here's the outline for this episode. Number one, I'm going to finish this building right here, make it nice and cosy, put a roof on it. Number two, I'm going to start building a road through the town here to connect up the buildings and give it more of a, a structure. Number three, we're going to build a temporary wall around the outside of the town just so that we can get a safe boundary and light it up with as many torches as possible. Why do you need the wall just now, you ask? Well, Timmy, that's because I'm going to be bringing some villagers here in this episode. So, the outline is... Roof, road, wall, villagers. Let's do it. Right, so I've finished the roof and as you can see I've made quite a bold choice here with the acacia. I haven't seen the roof in its entirety yet, so let's jump down and we'll both see it together. Please be nice. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, actually, you know... I actually love that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Someone just slept. Oh, I'm always weary when it comes to using acacia, but I think the warm colour palette with the orange and the yellow really works. Yeah, that looks good. That might actually be my favourite yet. Okay, let's finish the building and then we'll work on the interior. Right, we've got the outside for the building done. We've got the interior basics done. This is not how it's going to be. For now, this is going to serve the purpose that we really need it for, which is just to give the uh, villagers beds. I realise it looks a bit barracky and it's a bit undetailed, but that stuff will come later. We'll make some more room up here, maybe segment areas off so it looks more like actual rooms. We don't know. Let's see what happens, I suppose. So the next thing I want to do is this main road here. I want to start building something along here, down here to the square, connect it up with these two and start making it look like a little town. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to build a wall around this place. And then after that comes the fun of trying to transport villagers. Where if you've ever done that before, you will know how much of a pain it is. So here's what we're going to be building with. We have the polished andesite slab, which we used previously and the stone brick slabs, and I'll probably mix in some mossy ones in there as well, just to give us a bit of variety. But for now, we're going to jump into a time lapse, build this road, and we'll see how it looks at the end. Okay, with the pavements being done, I moved on and finished the wall around the outside of the village. It's just a two block high dirt wall for now, which you guys really didn't need to see. So let's move on to the next part of the plan, which is moving the villagers. So right here we have my base, where the villagers currently are, and we need to get them all the way over here to where Omniville is. So my first idea is that we take the villagers through the nether portal and back to the original village, and then build another portal out to Omniville. My second plan, which I kind of like but would use a hell of a lot of resources, would be to build a rail across the huge lake and then up to Omniville. So with all that being said and all those wonderful sounding plans, I thought I would just go with the simplest plan of them all. Put a villager in a boat. See, not everything in Minecraft has to be complicated. Just me and my villager pal here going for a nice swim. 
Okay, the villager's house is just up there. But the problem is, how do I get him up the slope? It feels like too much hassle to actually make an effort to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push him up and hope it works. All right, come on, friend. Let's get to your new home. You know, I might get lucky and he might actually pathfind to the... Nope, nope, he's not pathfinding at all. Keep going. There's a lovely village over here. I swear it's nice. It's better than the last place you were in. That box with all the hundreds of villagers. Don't worry about them. You can forget all about those people now. This is your new home. Look at it, it's just over there. Turn around! Get, get the boat. This really is one of Minecraft's stupidest mechanics, but it's so, so handy in times like this. And here we are. Omniville, your new home. Oh, and there just happens to be water here. Whee! Bump. Be free, my friend. You are the first of the people of Omniville. Come on, let's go look at it. Don't you want to see your new home? Yeah, that's right. Come on, come see. Look at it. Ooh. Well, uh, oh, okay, you've already got a profession. What are you? Butcher. Hey! Ooh, rabbit stew. Wow, you you connected to our workstation from that far? And there we have it, we've got our first villager. Now I need to go get another one. Okay, who's next? I need a volunteer. Nani? How did you get in there? And the winner is... Ba -ba -da -ba. First one to walk into the boat. You're going to push your friend in. Whoops, I probably shouldn't have done that. Ha, <sighs> okay. This is a bit of a problem. Yeah, step into the boat. And there we have it. Perfect. Where we're going, Mr. Villager. We don't need roads. Wee! Oh, hello, Mr. Dolphin. Oh, <laughs> where are you going? Whoa! Calm down. Right, let's just make sure we don't hit him. That's his hitbox. This is the boat hitbox. Perfect. Where did he go? What? What? Villager. Where is he? Disappeared. I'm wondering, is there any chance that he maybe teleported into a bed or something because it's night time? Oh, you're... that's the door. You can't get to the bed because of the door. Walk around the door. What's wrong with you? I didn't realise I'd kidnapped a village idiot. Wait. I heard him. Why do I hear him? I am so confused. Oh! Okay. I left and rejoined the server and he just magically appeared here. Let's get you inside before these guys get up to you. Go into your new home. Flee, you fool! Okay, we've got two sleeping villagers. Don't mind me. Just go to sleep. I'll keep an eye on you. My precious. You know, when I first built this breeder, I was really, really happy because I'd never actually built something like this before. And getting villagers was always such a task for me. But once you know the mechanics of it, it kind of gets a bit easy and you figure it out. Now, the issue is that... Clearly, I am not going to move 50-something villagers over to that other city. So there's only one thing to do. I'm sorry, my friends. You lived your lives in captivity. Being useful to no one. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I'll deal with this. And we'll see you back at the village. So now that that unfortunate business has been taken care of, it's time to start the population growth in this little town and expand. Eat the carrots. You must breathe. Yes. Yes. We will create a new world full of love. Yes. 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 So the last thing I need to do to make sure that this town can sustain its own population is turn this little guy into a farmer and get a million carrots. Isn't that right? You're going to be a farmer. Yeah, you have as much fun as you like. It won't last for long. Okay, it's been a little bit of time and as you can see, we have had some progress. A uh, little tiny Timmy, our singular villager child, uh, and Adam and Eve have been busy. And we've started to grow this great little community here. We've got some farms that the villagers are working away on. We've got a stonemason guy over there. Oh, there's a cat. We've got the butchers in their butchery. Hi guys, why stand on the table? That's not very hygienic. 
and over here we have the guys who... Why, why do you keep standing on everything? So as you can see, the town is progressing really well, and I'm really, really starting to enjoy how this is looking. I think between episodes I'll probably do a bit more here, mostly stuff like the roads, maybe lay out a sort of a town centre where the bell is over there, Someone, something's a bit nicer for the villagers. And we'll take it from there and we'll just see what happens. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your feedback and comments. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know what you think of my little town here. And if anyone does have a name for this place, please let me know because I'd like to know. Okay, I think that's enough speaking for one episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.